Hey everybody, this is an addendum to the module 15 lecture video. I am going to uh, clarify or uh, rectify the problem that I had last time. It was just a significant figure issue and significant figures are not something that we dwell on in this course. However, if you're not careful with significant figures, sometimes it comes back to haunt you. So let's take a look. I wrote down the final answer to example one as 89.2, which was correct. I uh, had three sig figs. Um, but if I want the energy calculations that I did last time to work out, I'm going to need more digits. So I just wrote down a whole bunch more for my calculator. So 89.22141. Then when I go back and I plug in to see how much energy there is in this, that comes out to be negative 782.2, uh, not degrees, joules. And this side, without the minus sign, because uh, that's the Q, the minus sign is extra. 782.2 joules, so it works out. And then you put the minus sign, then that's why that matches. Okay, so it really does, really does work out. And so I hope that makes sense to you now. It was just a significant figure issue, uh, but you can demonstrate that even though the coffee is changing by about 0 0.8 degrees, and the steel spoon is changing by about 69.2 degrees, the amount of energy involved, the change is 782.2 joules for both of them. One's losing 782.2 joules and one of them is gaining 782.2 joules. And that's what we're talking about when we say a system is isolated, okay? So last time when they didn't match, it was just because I did not write down enough digits there. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, please ask me.